Hello guys, good evening. Welcome back to our second episode. Today we will talk about Garmin Fish Finders. I hope you enjoyed last time. Last time I was with Dieter de Blauwe. We talked about uh, Carolina rig fishing uh, on Big Perch. And today here with me I have Jeffrey Verhagen. Hi guys. Uh, he is my, uh, let's say, like my, my fixed buddy to go fishing on the boat and also to do the, the boat electronics installations. So. Uh, today we will talk about uh, Garmin fish finders we have here in front of us. I will just switch briefly to the top cam. Uh, in front of us I have some kind of um, Garmin fish finders. Yeah, a, a small selection of what we have or what we use and what we have in the shop. Uh, but I also, uh, yeah, we will also talk about the uh, different functions and uh, the different series. And um, after the break, we will talk about the uh, Active Captain app, what you can do with it, and how would we improve our yeah. fishing, uh, mainly due to the Active Captain app. So, Ge Jeffrey, why don't you go ahead? I will uh, we'll talk about yeah, the series. Make a little brief overview of the, the kind of uh, uh, depth sounders we have from Garmin. Uh, maybe you can do the top view now. I can yep. show you then uh, first. Well, the, we can also use a, a depth finder or echo sounder from uh, using from uh, the side. So we have the Striker Cast GPS here. I'm gonna put this is a, a yeah, the small picture. This one, this is one you can cast into the water, and then you can you, you can see the depth of the under your uh, fish finder on your smartphone. So that's good to use when you're from uh, fishing from the from the shoreline. Um, also in the Striker series, we have the Vivid Five. This is this one. It's a smaller uh, striker series from Garmin. It has um, uh, the GT20 so, uh, transducer. Then we have the EchoMap uh, um, division. That's a, just a little bit above the striker. It has touchscreen from uh, the EchoMap. This is a 92 SV. Uh, it's panoptics ready, so we can use it with live scope and uh, PS30. Then we have the EchoMap 102. This is this one. This is the Ultra. A little bit better uh, definition on the screen. And this one also has two, uh, pan uh, two Ethernet ports, so you can plug in your live scope and your PS30 uh, simultaneously. And then going up from the EchoMap series, we have the GPS maps, starting with the 923 XSV. Um, very good unit, very affordable. Uh, it only has one uh, Ethernet port, but a really good unit. And then we have the top of the bill is the GPS map, the 8412. Um, this has about everything you want from a, from a depth sounder. I do, uh, everything function has HDMI out, uh, uh, more uh, Ethernet ports. Um, you can uh, use an LVS 12 directly on this uh, as well. Yeah. Okay, and uh, let's just switch to this cam again. So what would you say is, uh, maybe it's also price-wise, we don't have to discuss prices as well, but maybe you can discuss the end user who yeah. will be the main user for example for the striker series yeah striker series is going to be somebody who fishes from the shoreline but who wants to know uh, if the, the place he's fishing is it uh, how you know, how deep is it but you can feel that with your lead also but what kind of structure do you have uh, is there a fish you can see the fish uh, on the on the screen from your smartphone so for the garmin cast uh, somebody who fishes from shore Belly boat uh, fishermen can also use it, but I would uh, opt for yeah. a different approach then. Then I would go for a, a striker uh, vivid then. Yeah. Okay. So a striker vivid, which comes in five, seven, and nine inch. Yeah. Um, the five and the seven you have in uh, with the clear view, uh, so the down down scan as we yeah. we know it. But from seven we also have the seven and nine also has the side uh, yeah, scan with the GT52. Um, so I think that's also nice. Let's yeah. say an entrance. Yeah, the models, entrance model. Uh, for, uh, and has a lot of features for a really affordable uh, unit. Yeah, yeah, I think I think price, quality, it's a yeah, really nice really uh, nice to series have. to have. Um, then the Echo Map series, uh, I think we we installed these a lot on yeah, the... This is one of the most, uh, yeah, sold, uh, uh, most sold yeah. models, yeah. yeah. So everybody who wants uh, to go to Panoptics now or in the future is uh, can uh, maybe start with this unit. Yeah. I wouldn't go f smaller. For no, we for go scope. for the nine to, uh, to uh, really have a nice view and you will see also you, you lose detail if you go smaller. So nine is the, the way to go if you want to use live scope or PS30. 
Um, good thing about the uh, echo mapper uh, the section also is that you can, they have a cradle, I cannot show you now, but if you remove the screen, the cradle stays in the on the boat on the boat so you can get your uh, units of the boats so safely, for safety yeah. and everything that's a really good feature to have yeah that's indeed a, a plus point then the 10 we, we install this mostly i think with boats who have multiple multiple units yeah, in yeah, network yeah. Uh, together with the 12 so the echomap uhd 10 and 12 are uh, very nice to have a network together with yeah, they are compatible and, uh, so they can scope, yeah. share the points okay Good, then GPS map users, I, we are yeah. mainly GPS yeah, map, map users. users, I think we have the uh, both the 923 XSV and the 40, 84, uh, 84 and 12. 12 XSV on the boat. Yep. Um, yeah, what would you say is the most uh, or the, 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 the biggest advantages advantage compared to the Echo Map series? It has a big, uh, better screen, so you have more uh, pixels. So that gives a better view, clearer view. Um, and also then the compatibility. The Echo Map is compatible with the Echo Map and the GPS Map with GPS. We cannot cross them. Um, why do I like the, the, uh, the GPS Map a lot? It's also the Hadi Me Out. So we can uh, use it for our live streaming videos. Yep. Um, we can, um, we also always videotape our own fishing sessions to see what did we do good and what did we do wrong. So the Hadi Me Out there is really good. It has a really good um, processor also. It's really fast. So are you doing multiple things like you are using a live scope, you are using a PS30 and you also are um, looking at your side scan. And meanwhile, you're also mapping for yourself. Then you really need a really, really good processor. And then GPS map 8412 really has a strong processor going on. Yeah, that's indeed true. Uh, indeed, I saw from the chat somebody saying, hey, the title of the, the stream is still Carolina Rig Fishing. Okay. <laughs> Oops, I, uh, I indeed, I uh, did not change this, I forgot. So thank you for this one, Froggy1988. Thanks for uh, the heads up. Extra points for you. Uh, <laughs> let me change it to uh, episode two. Um, Garmin units. Garmin units. But we also use these units to go Carolina fishing, so it's not completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, voila, Garmin units and active captain, so save it. So it should so. change now. Very well, thank you, thank you. Ah, Michael, hi, Michael, very well. <laughs> okay, great, Froggy. Um, so next up, okay, we talked about ORD units. Uh, I have a small uh, movie yeah. uh, of ORD units. I have it here, uh, I will just change it. There you go, so we have the uh, on the left, where Jeffrey is mostly fishing, is the 84-12 XSV. And uh, oh, I'll just change it again, uh, or loop it again. Um, Maybe just freeze it. Yeah, and then uh, uh, loop. Okay, there we go. There we go. So the on the left, you have the 84-12 XSV. Uh, and underneath, there's a 923 XSV for GPS map units all networked together. And also a live scope on the left side. And on the right side, I also have the 90, uh, the 923 XSV with uh, a live scope. Yeah. Uh, everything is networked. Uh, in the back, we have the PS30 as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we use it a lot. Um, yeah, we also use the, the 84-12 when you do pelagic sharpshooting. And then we use the 923 for our maps. So we can always see that we're not in the, in the shipping lane or not uh, where uh, other boats can uh, hit us. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, we talked about the series, let's say. Yep. Maybe we can briefly discuss the, the basic uh, sonar. The um, transducers? Well, yeah, the transducers. Yep. We talked about this. Yep. So GT20 for the striker uh, or 52 for the, when you have the side scan. GT56 for the rest, actually. Yep. Um, and then the live scope and, and PS30. And live scope and PS30, which will come later on. Yeah, great. Okay, um, then we can uh maybe change to this view it's actually the the hdmi hdmi out we have from the the gps map i have in front so we can fiddle around a bit with it uh so what does does all these units what can they all do uh let's say the same is yeah. uh, the 2d transducer a uh, 2d sonar yeah so um yeah that's what we see here uh, okay, it's the, the demo is a bit deeper water, 110 <laughs> meters. Uh, but this is a good representative of what you see when you go fishing. Eh? Yeah. yeah, so you have a, a clear bottom uh, view 
the you know the depth depth variation let's say you can clearly see and then here we see oh, and on the on the demonstration there's some maybe some fish or uh, some air pockets coming up yeah you can see could be as well so um so this is i think known for yeah and this you can this you have on every uh, one you have it on the cast you have it on the vivid yeah. striker echo map series but ultra it wouldn't be a depth finder without this view yeah, yeah so you really need this one this is uh, the original sonar function okay then you can go to the 2d uh, the down uh, the clear view sorry yeah clear view down scan is uh, not from garmin garmin says uh, oh, names it clear view yeah this is a higher resolution a uh, higher uh, chirp so you can see this is 810 kilohertz now yeah. So the yeah, it's actually a smaller cone, making it more detailed, but also let's say m more difficult to track. Uh, yeah, and the, fish. the smaller the cone, the smaller the area you are looking at. Yeah. Uh, so dif more difficult to keep your track of your bait, for yeah. example. Yeah, and this is the chirp version, so you are you are switching different uh, frequencies. frequencies. Yeah. So it's really good, also. All right. By the way, guys, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Yeah. Uh, ask us. Ask us. Um, this is maybe main or basic sonar uh, stuff you but we want to explain it because i think sometimes people will watch this who have no experience with sonar uh, yeah or orientating to yeah. uh, look which, which one to buy yeah and then third uh, view we have the side uh, view the side view indeed side view uh, so we have this on the the nine inch the uhd nine the ten GPS my map 923 XSV and also on this unit of yeah course. and also on the Striker 9 with GT52 yeah you have we also then. have it yeah. with another transducer yeah indeed. so here we yeah we are actually yeah, uh, you can you can um, see it as a big uh, flashlight to the left and to the right yeah which is uh, lighting up the bottom but also a part of the the water column beneath you uh, so every uh, structure it encounters will hide will it will highlight so uh, a, f a bright, um, a bright like you can see, see here. Yeah, you can see it here for this uh, rock, ros rock structure. Sorry, it's here. So uh, yeah, it's, it, it shows that clearly. Yeah, that there you are see rocks. the bright stuff is the obstacle, and then you see oh. the shadow behind it. Yeah. You have to picture this as the yellow line in the middle. That's your boat, and then the black section underneath. That's the water column under your boat. So. If you look here to the right, you see it's about eight meters deep. Now it says nine meters, but you can see from eight meters, it starts to show you structure. That means that's alongside the boat, then you start. It's not eight meters to the right, it's under your boat that it starts. Yeah, but actually the difference in the, the depth we see yeah, here is because the, we're further ahead. Indeed, yeah. the, the simulation that started up uh, again. Uh, voilà. So this is side scan or uh, side view, as Garmin calls it. Uh, very useful. We use it mainly, let's say, in winter time, yeah. uh, to because you have less plants, and if you have a lot of plants, it's uh, difficult to spot fish, fish in between. Uh, in winter time, it's easier to spot, uh, for example, big perch. Uh, actually, pff, this simulation is really kind of helping us. I would say, yeah. if I would encounter this on the on the real time or uh, on the water, I would definitely cast towards it. So really, a big bright um, spot spot uh, or, uh, or an echo and then an, uh, the shadow and actually it's a fish on the bottom yeah, there's no the space between the, the the highlighted uh, fish and the the shadow yeah so we cool. have a question uh, how fast do you need to go for good presentation like with the paddlers on the belly is difficult i think no i don't think so actually the slower you go the more clear your image get will get you can change uh, your settings you can also. indeed ch uh, change your uh, scroll speed I have to check it here. Uh, for scroll speed. So if I put it higher, uh, it refreshes faster. Yeah, for a big boat with a big engine, uh, you might put it higher. If you put it lower, it will be more uh, belly boat style. The only thing there that with the belly boat that is, let's say, difficult is keeping a straight line. If you go left, right, you will see that the image oh is uh, deforming a yeah, bit. Yeah. And it's not only the speed is important, but not really too fast or too slow, but it's keeping at a steady pace. That's yeah. really the main important part, I think. Straight line, steady uh, pace, and then you will get a clearer image. Yeah, indeed. Um, so that was the uh, side, view. side view, indeed. We are now, how long already? 18 minutes talking, yeah. which is uh, quite okay. So next, um, we will do a small uh, break, let's say. Uh, unless there are more questions regarding this one, uh, the basics uh, yeah. of uh, 
uh, fish finders. Um, we wanted to give this also just to uh, build further on this uh, on the next uh, well, uh, next episode. Yeah. No, no, yeah, next uh, next episode as well, but uh, after the break. Yeah. Um, so we will uh, d discuss live scope and live uh, sonar after the break. Um, what will be there? Very interesting. I will show you. I have a small teaser for you. Um, for example, this one. We were fishing here uh, on the Hollands Deep uh, for perch, and actually, if you you can hear the audio, we cannot hear it in the studio. Um, but actually, Jeffrey is telling me, "Hey Peter, I see on my live scope you will have a bite of the big perch." And there it is. There Seconds later, I have the, the <laughs> nice bite. Um, a really nice uh, perch. Uh, you could see it coming on the live scope. So this live scope, this live sonar, we will discuss uh, after the break. Uh, we see. I see. We have another question. What is the best contrast setting on the side view? Uh, I don't believe. But okay, I'll change the main uh, main camera again. I don't really believe in best settings. Yeah, it depends on what water, the clarity of the water, even the same water, just two days in uh, difference can make a difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, indeed. So uh, best thing is to, uh, if you go to the same water again and the, the, let's say the clarity of the water is mainly the same or there's the current is the same, then you can, uh, once you have set it up, at, or dialed it in as the Americans call it, um, I think you can leave it most of the time. Uh, but in reality, you will have to fiddle a lot with the yeah. settings. Uh, putting too much contrast will really blow out the, the colors or the, the reflections. Setting less contrast will not give you all the details yeah. that you and want. It also depends on what you want to do. If you want to search uh, structures, you can really keep it down a little bit. If you search for fish, you really want that uh, little spot to highlight it. And uh, if you're looking for structure, like I say, like a uh, hard uh, muscle or something, you can put everything down and then the muscles are really hard, they will pop up. So you can yep. find that. It only depends on what you are searching for with your uh, side view. Also the best color setting. I don't think this exists. For example, if you're really looking for uh, muscles, yeah. another color setting which uh, uh, is highlighting the, the, the muscles, the muscle beds on yeah, the bottom true. might be uh, interesting. Yeah. This is the, let's say this brown or amber uh, uh, color, color yeah. is the most used, I think. Um, because if you encounter uh, an obstacle, a, a known obstacle, like a car or something, then with this brown color, it will give you the most uh, recognizable uh, picture. Yeah, that's right. So that's why we also use it a lot, I think, uh, uh, as, a, as, a, as a main uh, side scan uh, color. Yeah, and also color depends on if you're using it in daytime or nighttime. Some colors yeah, are better yeah. at night time than... Yeah, you don't want bright uh, white uh, or yellow uh, colors at night. So that's why sometimes we go to the, to the darker the colors. The then. Uh, I see we have lost our camera. Yeah. Five seconds. It's today it's a bit... Uh, <laughs> Technical. <laughs> more challenging with all the, uh, the, equipment. the equipment standing here. So the HDMI from the GPS map. I have my cell phone o as well, uh, which is connected to the live stream. Uh, this will be later on in the stream. Uh, then the different cameras, top uh, and the front. So it was also why we started uh, a minute later. Yeah. Uh, we had to take out the, the ladder to get in, in the, yeah, in the roof installed. to get the, 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 the extra camera fixed. So, um, okay, but now it seem, seems to work, uh, except the, this one. Yeah, shut just shut down just for a second. Minute. But okay, here we are again. Okay, so now we go to the a small break. Um, what is important in the break? That you, of course, get something to drink or something or make yourself comfortable. Uh, it's also important to follow us because after the break, we will also give again uh, away something that Jeffrey brought. Yeah. Uh, but okay, we will take it from the shop. Uh, a special lure that he brought just to, he will talk to us about uh, this special lure. Uh, so if you are not following us, we, you will not be able to join our giveaway. Okay. Uh, voilà. And then uh, in the meantime, in the break, you will see a small movie of uh, Dieter and Louis that did a small uh, fishing session. They had, a wa had to wait a lot until the mist cleared, yeah. but they made it uh, a good session. Yeah, a good session. Yeah. Okay, so enjoy. We will indeed drink a beer yeah. and then uh, we'll be back in five minutes.
right, we are back, guys. Welcome back again um, to the second part of our episode about Garmin Fish Finders and Active Captain. Um, so today I also have asked, just like na last week, uh, just in the let's say in the as a small um, intermezzo or uh, just after break, I have asked Jeffrey to bring me a lure that he likes and he wants to talk something about it. Uh, that he thinks is special or that we don't we that is not used a lot so last yep. time Dieter used uh, came with a Rapala jigging wrap and uh, yeah what did you bring today today I brought from uh, striking the KVD deep uh, diving jerk bait uh, everybody always talks about uh, the 110 jerk baits uh, they are really good really uh, nice but they're also very expensive so these guys are a little bit a little bit cheaper they're not cheap but they're really good um, but why do I like this one in particular? It's uh, an easy uh, jerkbait to learn how to twitch. Um, when you use it, you will see, you get a really good feedback of what the twitch is doing. So if you give some, you give it a pull, you're really gonna feel the lure pull back and you're gonna see on your line when it goes left or right. Um, so that makes it easy to understand what you are doing. Um, and you also get it on a nice real depth. So it's deep diving, you can see it has a, a little bit of a larger bill. So it goes a little bit deeper, which is good for the waters that we are fishing a lot. Okay. Uh, we go do big, more to structures that are a little bit deeper. Um, they come in a variety of colors. Um, and it's just a, a good bait to have. Um, and if you want to learn the twitch, uh, how to learn how to twitch, how to, how to jerk bait, it's a really good lure to have for that. Okay, it also has a... Yeah, it has a really loud, loud rattle. rattle. Um, this is actually it has no color this one yeah that's, I, that's one i really really like no color and then i also like the one with a little bit of i don't know if you're gonna see on camera a little bit of purple in it okay i Good. mainly use natural colors colors okay. for this one because i fish it really slow all right um actually the um the twitch bait fishing we will explain in a, a later e episode will probably after the new year um but we have some cool footage uh, ready for that one uh, but now maybe the most important we will give away one of these cool jerk baits uh, some so if some of you want to or if any uh, if somebody of you wants to try it to fish from big perch on the, the twitch bait, i will give you away so i will activate the giveaway there it goes you should see it in the chat now let's see what it gives Ah, there it is. Yes. So, the, if you want to uh, win the lure of the day, you will need to uh, type explanation mark giveaway and then you will enter the raffle. At the end of the episode, we will announce who has won this wonderful lure. I will send it to you just for free. As a, yeah. It's a good bait. Yeah. I'm going to catch fish on it. Okay, cool. Okay, let's uh, proceed with the episode about Garmin. Uh, voilà. Pick and Greg also also uh, started with uh, giveaway. the giveaway. Hepla and then Dimi. Ma, uh, everybody, everybody wants to win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Um, that's it. So active captain. Uh, we will now start with the uh, active captain explanation. I have connected my cell phone. There it is. Oh, now I'm not in the picture anymore. Um, I can move. You can come here. <laughs> oh yeah, let's do it like this. Okay, good. Um, so first of all you need to connect your telephone with your plotter uh, how to do that uh, i need to go back actually to the to the plotter there we go and you need to activate activate your wi-fi setting wi-fi is with every plotter it's under uh, communications so in the main menu communications wi-fi network then you activate wi-fi on and then, uh, okay, my network name is Garmin4174. Uh, password, uh, I, have the, I have a lot of questions that with people that say, yeah, I, uh, I want to set it up, but what if I lose my password? Actually, no you problem. are the owner of the unit, so you can always change your password. If you receive a boat from me, I always have set it up as the password as uh, 123. Voilà, there you go. Uh, Peter123. Okay, then you will go have to go to your cell phone and make connection with Wi-Fi to the Garmin. And of course, there's no Wi-Fi network available. Yeah, it's going to refresh. Yeah, 
Maybe if you start out. If you are doing this live, it means if something <laughs> if something does not want to cooperate, that you will clearly men uh, see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody's sending me messages. Thank you guys for the tips, but I'm not checking them while I'm streaming. But now we have made the connection with the Garmin. Uh, so Garmin 4174 there it is uh, you can actually already see my chart with this which is uh, was the, the main thing but you, you will see on your uh, cell phone you will see three uh, big uh, categories let's say it's uh, synchronized with the plotter so it's in Dutch uh, I have left it in Dutch but okay main, uh, mainly in many the guys from the Netherlands and Belgians are viewing this I guess but you can recognize the pictures so yeah no that's the same so synchronize with the plotter or uh, oh, I will not to do this or helm function it's a rule uh, helm function is only with the GPS uh, map series so you can actually uh, see or control your GPS map uh, directly from your smartphone uh, and then it says uh, my water sport to stand it means uh, all the units that you have in your network so for our boat this is quite already a nice collection so two times gps map 923 xc uh, 84 112 and then uh, two live scope systems and a ps30 uh, voilà. so this is the main uh, let's say the main menu uh, the cool thing about the uh, water sport to stand or the overview of all your units you can see your software version it says hey for the uh, 8412 XSV software version 29.20 I don't know if you can see it on the screen but I guess yes you can yeah. um, and there you uh, you can also update so you can uh, download the updates once you are connected with uh, internet uh, to your cell phone and then transfer it to your unit and update your unit with your cell phone if you want don't want to do it with this SD card yeah voila then uh, what else the helm function you can show it maybe yeah i, I showed the helm function uh, you can see or what also is used a lot uh, with the helm function is that you can record uh, movies so if you are just about to drop on your biggest video of your life you can record uh, this and then show it to all your buddies yeah afterwards. and it goes straight straight to your phone the memory so it's backed up already yeah straight wow. to the phone this is the helm function but uh, again helm function only with gps map units so not with uh, echo map units voilà. then um, the cool thing is also the charts uh, garmin has i think from april they have uh, merged all the charts together with uh, navionics so in the, before you had the blue chart uh, maps you, you still have them but now we are uh, always using the Navionics maps. Here I have uh, three, let's say. So we have the, the, the main Navionics, it's Garmin Navionics, uh, just the regular. This is the Navionics Plus. And then the, uh, the one with the extra features is the Navionics Vision Plus. Uh, just be aware, just put this here. Navionics, if you see uh, a box like this in the shop, it says Navionics, but it's not Garmin Navionics, which means it will not be uh, possible to use it on your Garmin unit but on uh, Hummingbird, Raymarine or Lowlands uh, it will be useful what is the difference uh, between the Vision Plus and the regular uh, there's a lot of extra features like satellite photos um, which I will show you later on also the uh, and that's something we use a lot yeah the is the relief shading uh, so maybe put it uh, on the screen yeah, yeah I can put it on the GPS map again Dimi is asking if you can stream uh, through your smartphone with the 122 Ultra. No, no, you cannot. So uh, streaming to the smartphone is only with the uh, GPS, GPS map. map series indeed. So actually what I wanted to show you, this is the, the GPS map now we are using via the HDMI cable, but I can control it also with my uh, cell phone. There it is. This is my cell phone. Um, so here you have the helm function, and this is only with GPS map series, uh, not with uh, echo map. Uh, echo 
synopsis. And so the next word is it, is it only via, only via schermopname? Yeah, indeed. Yeah. You can, indeed, if you have an, an application that you can record your screen. Uh, no, that's not, no, that's not, sorry. No, you can do it directly in the app from uh, the active Yeah, but with the uh, EchoMob series, you will not be able to project your screen of a fish finder on your cell phone. No, yeah, it's not possible. So it's not only the, it's not that you will not be able to record, but you will not be able to project. But the you don't have a helm function. Yeah, you don't have the helm function. So for the EchoMob series, it's not possible. Maybe Garmin will change that in the future, we don't know. No, we don't know. But, but uh, I don't think so. In no, it's not future. possible. So you were showing yeah, how you can, uh, um, change your settings on your smartphone so you can change picture here uh, using your um, helm yes indeed so but indeed this is the the same view as i get but this is my smartphone is the same actually if i go to the uh, to the gps map itself there we go so uh why do we use the um the charts uh, of course this is very obvious um, we use it a lot to find restructures uh, before we go fishing actually um, so here we are at the uh, let's say the most common place is the trailer ramp the banana yeah um, and there we have the the depth uh, information um, we use it if you want to go perch fishing we maybe find something shallow if you want to go vertical fishing we go a bit deeper uh, all depending on yeah, the what we are fishing for in the moment of the year indeed uh, what can I show you again as well is uh, waypoint making so uh, what Jeffrey and also and me we also have a shared our account yeah uh, uh, this means uh, Jeffrey has the same uh, yeah my phone is uh, the same, fa same uh, active captain account uh, voila, there so we if go. I'm uh, sitting in my chair in the evening and I don't know what to do, I'm going to go into my active captain. I can start searching for spots. I can mark them, put a waypoint there, and then it will synchronize. Uh, when I get on the boat, it will synchronize with our uh, GPS maps series. And then we can go to that spot to go fishing. So yeah. we can do a lot of prep, uh, preparation the night before or the week before. Or just yeah, if you have a spare moment, you can search for spots, spots that you can fish then later on. And uh, maybe show the other view. Uh, that you have with the, the expense for a card. Yeah, the indeed. So this is uh, the relief shading, but it's also how how, I sh how we see it on the mobile phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, relief shading is very interesting to find uh, smaller holes or uh, plateaus, something. Uh, this is something we use a lot, indeed. So we're sitting in our chair in, the, uh, in front of the television. We say next uh, tomorrow we want to s we want to check this spot, uh, and then uh, we we put a let's say a waypoint there uh, about something that's uh, interesting. Now, a bit to protect myself, I have removed all the waypoints uh, <laughs> from the view. <laughs> Otherwise you are all fishing my spots tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but I can really, I have only put one, it's a fake one. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to show you what, uh, what we do. Um, we give uh, colors uh, a meaning and we give uh, the symbols a meaning. So yeah. for example, you can see here on my screen, it's a randomly chosen uh, waypoint. It's a flag and it's a blue flag and it's 87. Actually, what this means is that uh, we know it, it's a flag. It means it's a, it's, it's a fish that was caught in the fall. Yeah. Uh, it's 87 centimeters long and it's blue. It means it's a, a zander. A zander, yeah. So uh, next time we go fishing or we, we find patterns, uh, we try to find patterns. Uh, where th where do we find the yeah, most well, bigger fish? We want to know in uh, which time of the year, which kind of species we can find on the spot. And by doing this with every fish we catch, we're going to have a nice overview uh, of where and which time we caught a fish. Um, going back to the your left shading, why is this so nice? I'm going to zoom out a little bit. This gives you. It's easier to understand a left shading map than it is to, to look at a, a traditional uh, depth chart. Because you can see, it's a, is it up? Is it down? Is it a little smaller? Is it big? It's easier on the mind. I, I don't know how else to explain. It's easier on the mind to see. So yeah. it's, it's really intu intuitive to fish or to. Uh, to and actually, the the synchronization between the the spots that you choose um, on your cell phone 
and on your plotter it goes very fast yeah. uh, actually the moment we shut up, we put on or the, the, the power, power of the boat the the gps map units they start up uh, you can shut this down but we keep it on uh, they start up and the the wi-fi starts uh, working so at that time our uh, cell phone is uh, automatically connect synchronizing with our uh, plotters so, so for example i can show you here uh, next to the the point of the 87 uh, 78 uh, zander i put a new point it's uh, let's call it uh, let's say a uh, 57 perch let's be a bit yeah. optimistic let's go for the, uh, the purchase versa with us is red let's say we call it in the fall this coordination we can also put say uh, and say um with a crazy flapper um yeah we can put a voila. which kind of uh, you, you can give some details for later on voila it's a red flag and now if we see i have made this uh, waypoint here on the mobile phone if we go now to the plotter Go to the mission developer. Yeah. There we go. You see, because we are connected via the Wi-Fi, the point is already there. So yeah. a 57 perch and an 87. That's really yeah. That's a hot a spot. Uh, we're going uh, to keep on fishing fish. there. So you can steal this spot. No worry. No worries about this one. Um, so. Next up, what we want to discuss is also the live transducers. Yeah. Uh, mainly for our way of fishing, I think the live transducers were a big change yeah. Uh, yeah. compared we use to it the traditional. All the time. Yeah. So, uh, what is live transducer? Transducer, sorry, it's uh, let's say the live scope. To yeah, you can see very detailed a lot of structures, but also particular fish. I have some more big, uh, videos uh, coming up. Do you have questions in the chat? No, just from the Kevin, screen. you need to say explanation mark giveaway, not one giveaway, and then <laughs> you will enter the raffle. Yeah, okay. uh, but indeed, uh, it was a bit discussing between the helm function on the 102 or uh, the ultra series and the GPS map series. So again, the live scope, the live sonar. So it means uh, actually with traditional sonar, if you have 2D down uh, imaging or side scan, you're always looking at the past yeah. while live sonar it's real time in the in the demonstration here you can see a school bus uh, with some fish let's say it. fish around it uh, maybe a school of uh, small bait fish above it um, the cool thing is that you can see uh, the, the 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 amount of meters yeah it's away from you yeah. it's away and the depth so we would say the school bus let's say the middle of the school bus is now around seven meters away and it's laying around eight meters deep. Yeah. So that's yeah, that was really a, <laughs> a revelation. Yeah. That Once you start fishing with it, crazy. if you have seen the episode of last week, you can also always uh, see that we always are fishing with the live scope. So um, you can see a lure dropping now. Yeah. Indeed, you can drop it on a particular fish or on a school of fish. Yep. And there he has. I think it's a, a crappy fisherman yeah, it's crappy from fisherman, yeah. US. So okay. Um, and you have another side of a uh, live, uh, yeah, live transducer, the PS30, and this is a, a really different view. Um, this is a, a wide-angle view where the live scope is only 20 degrees, and it's like a spotlight that you direct to where you are fishing. The PS30 is uh, mounted uh, fixed on your boat and goes in, the, yeah, in, the, in a triangle like this. Yeah, and then I think it's 200 degrees. I don't know that uh, hard, but, yeah, uh, but should have, we should have looked at that. Yeah, we should have looked up. Okay, whatever. So the indeed, it's a wide, very wide angle uh, that you can scan. Um, that means that you will have a lot of information about the fish being uh, left or right, yeah. but not a lot of information if it's front or back yeah. of the boat. So, but I know some guys. Really, s I see some guys here in the chat, and I know that are really good at, uh, let's say. Um, evaluating whether the fish is coming towards them or going away from them based on the the things that they see on the ps30 we have a question can you see the difference of, of perch pike and zander on the ps30 yes i think so yeah perch will be a difficult i think on the ps30 to yeah, uh, really see the difficult the difference between the white fish uh, like a bream or like a, a bream. Perch, you don't see nah, it's, it's a bit uh, harder reflection but difficult to see on the ps30 the pike and the zander, you can really see yeah, the difference. See difference. Yeah. A trained eye, if you exercise a lot, you will see the difference. Not only in the, the image, but the way they move 
the yeah. pike moves really different than a Xander. Or the way they approach the lure, yeah. it's most uh, uh, a lot of uh, difference there. Um, then I have actually from my friend, which is uh, uh, Greg, I have I received a cool video that I will show you here. I hope it's working. There we go. Yeah, actually, this is a, a, a this the the view you can see. The Greg is fishing on his belly boat, and he has the PS30 and the live scope at the same time. Um, he's actually approaching a big, big zander, uh, which he caught. It was a meter zander, so it's uh, something you really cannot miss. Um, <laughs> You can see on the, the top view is the, the live scope and the, the bottom one is the PS30. Uh, you can see the lure going towards the, the fish. Actually, the, the lure is now next to the fish or ab ab slightly above. Uh, so you can see the, the fish is actually, let's say, just beneath him, uh, uh, zero meters on the live scope. Uh, now the fish bites and then the drill, oh, it was cut short, but he caught a fish. It was a one meter zander. So it's... Uh, Really That's a really fish nice. of a lifetime, I say. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats to this one, uh, Greg, for your. I think I don't uh, don't even think it's your PB, but uh, you can maybe. Say you can comment on it, PB. Greg. <laughs> um, do we have another question? Can you see fish near the bottom on the PS30? Yes, you can, but it's very difficult as the angle is that wide. Uh, if the fish is really flat on the bottom, it will make a kind of average on what it's uh, reflecting on. That means. It's is the bottom is uh, a bit fluctuating, uh, yeah. fluctuating. You will probably not see the fish that well. It's then I think it's better with, a, for example, a live scope where you have a very small beam, uh, higher just resolution, just to yeah. If you you aim towards that fish, you'll probably see it better. Uh, next question. No, everybody is entering yeah. the giveaway. Okay, cool. So what you can use this, uh, you can use the PS30 and the live scope uh, both for uh, pelagic fishing. Uh, if you want to go to pelagic sharp shooting, that's not possible with a PS30 because you no. cannot look in any distance. Yeah. Good, good thing to know about the PS30, you can also change the direction it's looking. So you can uh, maybe you can show it in the settings, Peter. You can put your PS30 so it's looking left and right, but you can put it a little bit in the front and a little bit in the back. So depending on where you have mounted it, uh, say if you have a boat, you have mounted in the back and you're fishing a little bit more in the front, you can point it more to the front. If you're fishing with a, a belly boat for say, you can put a little bit more in the back. This is all depending. And also you can change it on the moment if you have some current pushing your bait in the other direction. So you really can keep your bait into uh, into the cone. Yeah, I don't find the, 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 the setting, setting yeah. right now, but uh, it's because I'm not always fiddling a lot with it because it's, it's fixed on our uh, boat. boat. Yeah. And we also, we are mainly live scope fishing. Yeah. <laughs> we have to be honest about yeah. that. You have, I think PS, people, some people prefer the PS30 for uh, pelagic fishing, some live scope. Uh, we mainly use live scope for, it for the sharp shooting. This is also the episode of next week. Uh, we will go more in depth into this one yeah. next week. Um, what do I have to show you next uh, is a cool picture of the uh, live scope. Actually, here you can see us fishing. We are actually vertical fishing uh, on Holland's Deep. Um, and you see the live scope of Jeffrey. He is putting his bait just above the bottom, let's say 20, 30 centimeters. And there's a school of perch. He has a bite, uh, but the, uh, the perch misses. And then another one yeah. takes his lure. Yeah. See, if How cool is that? Yeah, if you see that happening, if I wasn't fishing with a PS30, uh, with the live scope, sorry, I wouldn't have caught the, s the second yeah? perch. No. The I would have a bite, a I would get a strike, I would lose the fish, okay. I would be bummed out, uh, reel up, look at my lure. And now I saw there was more fish laying still on the bottom, so I dropped it immediately. Yeah. First intent was to catch the same fish again, but yeah, the second one who, who gave the bite was even bigger, so, so I was thankful for that. Yeah, <laughs> that was nice. So somebody is also asking, yeah, so for casting from the boat, you, would you only use a live scope? For casting from the boat, I think a live scope is indeed perfect. Yeah. Uh, it was his equivalent of his personal best two weeks earlier. Okay, so two meter Sanders. Two Maybe weeks. it was the same one, Greg. Yeah. You kept it somewhere on the string. Uh, no, yeah. Know, but, uh, <laughs> for two weeks will be difficult. Uh, but okay, cool. No, two meter Sanders uh, in, uh, in two weeks. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. All right. Um, 
what can we also show you is uh, I have some two weeks ago I had an appointment with the fire department they were also interested in life scope or let's say the the new technologies or what are is possible with all the technologies uh, that we are having now um, and there of course the life scope was the the big winner yeah of or course. The, the main interest as they all already saw 2d sonar down scan and side scan um, i had a small uh, hint about a car it was indeed from kevin uh, I, I know you are following and it was you who had who given me the location the, the location of this car but actually uh, in the in the small demonstration we found four cars cars uh, three of them they didn't uh, they knew the location and one of them was still unknown so actually i made some um some videos, videos here on the the left side you can see it's a car uh, laying on the bottom but the cool thing is there that they told me uh, we have tried to remove this car but uh we pulled uh, a, a chain around this roof and we we've broken the roof and actually you can see this on the the live scope that it's uh yeah, they made a, a convertible out of, out of this car <laughs> um i wouldn't drive it now but uh yeah that's really nice and then uh, on the right side you can see actually a diver they uh they put some divers uh, or a diver in the water uh, and then we let them do some exercises actually the we wanted to simulate a dead body uh, to find a, a corpse or something but uh, actually the diver gave a bit away his location with all the bubbles and, oh, and yeah. the live scope gives a hard reflection on this so this was a uh, was very cool to to do uh, very nice uh, i think demonstration they really liked it um, but of course there the the diver was maybe a, a giveaway a little bit too easy <laughs> too easy <laughs> yeah. indeed uh voila so this is a bit all we wanted to show you in show this episode yeah. in this episode um we've talked about basic sonar uh, stuff the different series we also maybe one thing to mention you also have the garmin echomap uhd2 uh, series um, which I don't have here, but indeed we you have this as well. Uh, this is, let's say, maybe... Oh, oh you just lost uh, <laughs> the live view again. No problem. Peter's going to put it back on. So normally we should be back in two seconds. Yes, yeah, yeah we're we back now. Yeah. So the, um, the UHD2 is... A uh, you can maybe say it's a mix between the Echomap and the Striker series. Uh, the cool thing is there that you have a wireless transmission between the units. So if you ha only have... Uh, once a transducer on the boat and even your friend both have this unit you can see the the same uh, data let's say with yeah. two units only one transducer and no cable in between so this is also uh, very cool yeah um, thanks guys it was a very nice episode thank you Erwin uh, Anne. Anne is a sales rep representative from Garmin yeah. Belgium so it's also nice to have you indeed in the chat uh, the camera is shutting down again we saw it indeed did yeah. it yes Thanks for sharing. Okay, cool. Um, I think we've discussed all the series, um, all the, the possibilities. Captain. Also, good to know, maybe you can connect always your smartphone with all series here. So you get notifications of your smartphone on yep. your uh, phone, on your screen. That's really, really easy if you go fishing and your girlfriend is trying to reach you. So that yeah. you can answer that. Put it on <laughs> you can put it on your screen mode. Um, indeed so then next time next episode we will talk about uh, pelagic fishing so both the classic uh, pelagic fishing which is underneath the boat or the shark shooting yep. which jeffrey and me we use uh, mainly yeah i will i have a small teaser for you it's actually uh Wait, may you not forget the, the giveaway yeah, yeah i'll do it uh, afterwards yeah, perfect I just want everybody to keep online for this small teaser uh, so actually here we are fishing also again Holland's Deep um, and uh, what do we see is Jeffrey is uh, vertical fishing again uh, we are uh, uh, putting our on the bottom but what <coughs> Jeffrey did not see was the big sander in the back and I spotted it and you can see my lure passing over its head now and it follows it and bam I have a big fish yeah I just had to grab the net for him but you see, you, you miss you miss you you miss a lot of fish if you only 
keep focused on the screen, uh, on the depth you are fishing. Yeah, Peter was luckily uh, paying attention okay. and saw a little bit higher up a nice fish, and so we caught a nice extra zander. Uh, you can see the hearty rise top gun rod here in full action on this very nice zander. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it was not on the screen, but 78, I believe. 78, it was. Yeah. indeed. Yeah. 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 It's not uh, the one liter uh, of Greg. Look at the Zalvi net pack, Peter. Um, there we go. So then, the most important thing I think from the evening is the giveaway. <laughs> yeah, everybody Let's loves to first check if there are more questions. Uh, Raffle, indeed, turn the <laughs> notifications off your screen. Indeed, does do that. You don't need it. I like Jeffrey's West Flams. I don't speak West Flams. <laughs> ah, yes, but in the movies you speak. In the movie speak. I do, yeah. Okay, okay. Welke hangen als gebruik je voor de Fragic Vertical Fishing? How long zijn ze? Uh, oh yeah, that's uh, we, we're mainly using now for the, the vertical fishing. We're using the Top Gun series from Hearty Rice. Yep. Uh, we're using it for vertical fishing and also for pelagic yeah. sharp shooting. But this is, uh, I think he will. He means the classic vertical fishing, uh, like oh, yeah, I with 50 yeah, or I 70 gram. I don't know. You I use. I uh, also use the Top Gun series, yeah. the heaviest one. The heaviest one. Because I like to have a little bit more uh, overweight. How do you say it? Yeah. A bigger, f heavier rod to fish vertically, so I really can give a, hook, a good hook set. Um, it's, I believe, one meter and 98 centimeter. Yeah, something like that. And so a small two meters. 38 meter. grams or something, yeah. Yeah, 38 grams of uh, lure weight. But it has casting weight, so it can have a lot more. It yeah, can just uh, vertical drop. Yeah, I use it with 50 grams uh, head, no problem. Okay, let's see who was the winner. I will close the entries. There it is. And now we pick a winner. It is CKNC1. Yeah. I have no cool. idea who this is. No, I don't know. But congratulations. Uh, with congratulations the lure. for the lure. Uh, with the lure, you will uh, receive this one. If uh, you, have, you have his address? or uh, No, because can. it's difficult to see who this is. If I see Greg or uh, Dimi, I know, you know who you are. Maybe then uh, uh, he can. Ah, yes. CKNC1. Please maybe. just send me a message or an email. Don't put it here on the chat for everybody to see. but. Send me an email and I will send you this one to your home address. Send us a picture if you catch a fish with a it. A big then. perch with it. Yeah. Indeed. Okay, voila. This was today's episode. Um, we will be back uh, next week. Uh, next week we will handle pelagic fishing, classic and sharpshooting. All the, the what do you need from rods? What do you need? Uh, bait, uh, fish finder, uh, Live school, you know, the entire modes, setup, right? uh, everything that you need. Um, I think uh, that's it. And then after the, the episode of next week, we will take a small Christmas break. And then after uh, New Year's, we will be back again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to follow our uh, Twitch account. It's important. You see, if you follow our Twitch account, you will probably get some cool giveaway prize. Yeah, it's always nice to win something. Yeah. Okay, here we go. That's the end. See you next See week. You next Bye, time, guys. guys. Bye.